The second way of reconciling is when you have categories. For example, in the previous video I showed you how to reconcile a list. So in this list, I've got a total of zero, which means I've got a total number of positive hundreds and negative hundreds, and the positive two hundreds and negative two hundreds also agrees. So that's when you reconcile amounts. So when you want to reconcile with categories, this is where it becomes a bit more tricky. So for example, I'm just going to add another year to somewhere in the hundreds, which means that if we just do the previous one quickly, let's just do that one where we count the positive hundreds, and then we count the negative hundreds, and I'll just copy that down, and I'll just subtract the two of them. So when I do the 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 first way, you'll see everything reconciles, so the only zeros. So this means the first one will always work. But this is not entirely correct, because in this list, I've got two year twos. So if you if you know that in this example, that a year one debit and a year two credit, or a year one positive and a year two negative is not the same thing, then you need to add categories. So let's see how you do that. Now. In our previous uh, videos, I showed you how to number data automatically. So when you use account if, you can number data automatically and then uh, make them unique. So let's first number them. So I'm going to say count if. So if I just open the formula function bar, the range I'm selecting is only that first two, and then I'm fixing the first B1. The criteria I'm searching for is the 100. So when I copy this down, it's going to effectively number every hundred. Why is it doing that? Because in the first case, I'm only selecting the first two cells. So, and because I fixed the B1, every time I copy this down, it will just add more cell. So effectively adding another hundred or another two hundred or whatever is in the list. So now we've numbered everything. So the same hundred, if I only select a positive hundred, there's not one hundred that's got the same number next to it. So the nice thing about this, if I concatenate this, take that and that, what I normally do is just add a space in between, just to make sure we don't get errors later on, because if you've got very big data sets, it might give you an error later. So now I've got unique fields. So now this, this is a nice thing to do. So what we need to do now, is we need to add the categories, and the um, the counting that we did. So let's just add another concatenate here. So I'm adding the year one as well. So I'm copying that down. Just going to use cut to put the same formula there. So now instead of counting exactly the same things, I'm just going to count the negative hundred here. So I'm concatenating that too now. So in the first one, I'm concatenating the criteria, and you can add as many, many criteria as you want. I'm concatenating the amount, and I'm concatenating the, the number. So I'm creating unique fields. In the second one, I'm doing the same, but the difference is I'm adding a, a negative of the amount. So now, because we've got unique fields, now I've got literally f 16 cells here that's unique. So if I do a normal VLOOKUP, I search for that negative amount in this range. And I just do, I, I don't care about returning any other information because I'm just caring about the true or false. If we've got an error here, it means that our, it's our unreconciling differences. So let's just select the errors. So that's our unreconciling amount. So you'll see that there's a uh, positive 200 and a negative 200. So yes, on our first method that would balance, but it's not correct because the one is here one and the other one is here two. The same with the hundreds. So the 
to make it look a bit cleaner you can always just do an if is error so i'm saying if and i just put the vlook of the and is error to say if that formula is an error which means it will not reconcile we can just say unreconcile and if it is if it's not an error which means it will find it So unreconcile. So can you see? Now you can easily see what doesn't reconcile and what reconciles. So let's go through this again. So in this method, we are looking for amounts that does not balance, that hasn't got the same criteria. Our criteria in this case is year one and year two. So all year ones needs to reconcile and all year twos needs to reconcile. So first, because we've got the same unique cells to start off with, we need to make them unique. So how do you make a cell unique? You number them. So I'm doing a count if formula where I'm fixing the first cell I'm selecting and copying that down and effectively that will number the information. Then I'm concatenating the, the categories, the amount and the unique number I've assigned with and then I'm doing exactly the same concatenation but I'm just adding a negative 100 which means that will be the reconciling entry for that specific cell and then I'm doing a VLOOKUP to see if that reconciling entry exists in the database if it does not exist it means it does not reconcile so let's just go to unreconcile amounts quickly so if I make this one a year or let's make it a year two then it will reconcile and if I make that the year two, that means now that all year ones and all year twos reconcile. So that's that's a nice way of doing this.